Everyone's talking about Eric Schmidt's Silicon Valley blunt video and missing how it applies to AI and forgetting the artist's work being scraped for nothing. First, the AI leaders came for our content, taking it without permission, but hey, it's the internet and I can steal TikTok in 30 seconds. Make me a copy of TikTok, steal all the users, steal all the music, put my preferences in it, produce this program in the next 30 seconds. Then they came for our jobs. AI first, because who needs arrogant programmers? Imagine a non-arrogant programmer that actually does what you want and you don't have to pay all that money to. Finally, if you get in their way, they send lawyers. We'll share a whole bunch of examples in a minute. Like this arrogant CEO visionary, Eric Schmidt, that went viral. He took down his video because he told the naked truth under the guise of privacy, what he thought about programmers, which isn't much. This billionaire view of AI took a needed hit this week, and not just from Eric. The artist's lawsuit against AI image generators like Stable Diffusion and Midjourney may make them reveal how their black boxes work and come out of the cloak of business privacy, just like Schmidt. And the groundswell, it's rising. Listen to Adam Conover at the recent Animation Guild rally. But the fact is, it is a lie. Your work makes these people hundreds of millions of dollars. No one else's. Your work. They need you. That's the sound of people fed up with being used by AI leaders who claim they have the right under what's called fair use to grab what others create because how else would they build their business? Ah, oh, poor billionaires. But the artists are really the ones being left out in the cold. While the AI leaders preach about bias and ethics, they have a ton of negative bias against people with jobs. And when it comes to what they do, ethics, out the door. You can see it in their actions of scraping without permission or compensation. That's the way we do things in the Valley, right? Well, a judge has the right to uphold the arrogance in that artist lawsuit. What did he decide? We'll find out in a little bit. What happens when the little people, the artists, the programmers, me and you fight back? I'm Declan Dunn. And I stand up for creatives, small businesses, and entrepreneurs to use AI and not have it use them. Please like and comment. It helps us get found in the wave of AI hype because we're actually trying to get to a little truth here that's not just told from unicorn companies. In this episode, Schmidt's copy and conquer crashes into the AI copyright reality check. We'll find out how the judge is opening the door to this. We begin with the big tech Goliath bias, act fast, and sue people who get in the way. Now, when I say arrogance is a business model in the Valley, that's where I worked for years and it's growing in ways it never even had a chance to, and it's growing fast. Like OpenAI said in an interview, because copyright covers virtually every form of expression, it would be impossible to train today's AI models without using copyrighted materials for free. So you make hundreds of millions of dollars, but you can't pay for it because then it wouldn't work. And in fact, so far, they're really not proving much of a business model and they're the ones ChatGPT making all the money. Now, does that sound ethical to you or just Silicon Valley emphasis, emphasis on con? Like Eric, who said to the Stanford students and listen to this advice, the example that I gave of the TikTok competitor, and by the way, I was not arguing that you should illegally steal everybody's music. What you would do if you're a Silicon Valley entrepreneur, which hopefully all of you will be, is if it took off, then you hire a bunch of lawyers to go clean the mess up, right? But if nobody uses your product, it doesn't matter that you stole all the content. Do not quote me on that, right? Everyone's shocked when the Schmidt hit the fan, but look at AI. In the artist lawsuit, Stable Diffusion CEO Ahmad Mostake described the scraping of artists' images without permission as 
a collaboration that we did with a whole bunch of people. We took 100,000 gigabytes of images and compressed it into a two gigabyte file that can recreate any of those images and iterations of those. That's his quote. If that statement is literal, that's a violation of copyright, isn't it? Knowingly. And Ahmad, he isn't the CEO since March 2024, resigning following an investor mutiny and staff exodus that left the one-time tech darling in turmoil. This is not really ethical behavior, is it? Access denied. He didn't bother to pay the artists or let them know. Neither did the other defendants who used the data, like Midjourney and DeviantArt. Hey, wait a minute. Midjourney's CEO posted on Discord a list with names of artists. If you're watching the video, you can see them right here that they scraped, including the ones involved in the lawsuit. I mean, there's 4,700 names on the list. 4,700, but we, we didn't know we were doing anything wrong, right? They are doing exactly what Eric Schmidt says to do. It's the AI Silicon Valley playbook. And that's what I'm going to say is a bit of the problem here. So while AI leaders are all over the media telling us how important it is to remove negative bias and focus on ethics and how AGI will destroy us, they do whatever they want and sue you if you get in the way. Whoa. And there you have the AI business model in a nutshell. Attack, steal, sue. And if it works, you'll have enough money to get lawyers because you don't have to pay those arrogant programmers wasting your time and money. Just pay the lawyers. These kind of actions are business as usual in the Valley. It's embedded in the AI industry and it may be falling apart because there's a lawsuit happening and it's much more than a lawsuit. People are waking up. Artists are the mighty underdogs to big tech. And we all love an underdog, don't we? The AI copyright lawsuit is classic David versus Goliath. Though in this case, Goliath hardly ever loses because he has so much tech bro money. These little artists struggle against large AI companies that have massive resources and legal teams at disposal. Their chances of winning are super low. In fact, the case almost got thrown out last October 2023, but the judge let them come back because they weren't as armed with lawyers as the big tech people are. So artists Sarah Anderson, Kelly McKernan, Carla Ortiz, Hawk Southworth, Gregor Rutkowski, Gregory Manchess, Gerald Brom, Jingna Zhang, Julia Kay, and Adam Ellis have, on behalf of all artists, have accused Midjourney, Runway, Stability AI, and DeviantArt of copying their work by offering AI image generation based on the open source Stable Diffusion AI model, which the artists allege was trained on their copyrighted works in violation of the law. Stable Diffusion was allegedly trained on what's called Leon-5B, a data set of more than 5 billion images sorted from across the web by researchers and posted online back in 2022. However, this database only contained the URLs, the addresses of where the images were. If those images were taken, they'd have to have been scraped or screen captured to be put in the visual database. So while this suit got knocked out in October at first, because the legal argument couldn't hold water, the judge allowed them to refile because it's super clear that their work is in there. Proof is obvious. Their names are in public documents, like the one Midjourney posted. If you want to play ethics and being good and stopping evil bias game, start by not being the leaders of the game. Maybe you are what you say AGI will be. You keep talking about AGI is going to destroy us all and run away. You all are the ones who don't have any respect for what people actually create. You can't make good tech with bad intentions. Now, to their defense, there were two parts of the lawsuit thrown out. One is called the Digital Management Copyright Act of 1998, the DMCA. That challenge was thrown out because they challenged St Stable Diffusion's copyright to the tech. So Stable Diffusion said our tech is copyrighted, but they said our content is part of that tech. And the judge said those are two different copyrights. They also did what's called unjust enrichment, and I'll save you the legalese. Go to my sub stack and you can read it for yourself. A deep legal hole, they lost that as well. 
And now, as the case possibly moves forward, what else is there to do but defend the copyright? And will the judge hold that copyright up? In a way, this is fair use or fair abuse of copyright. It's funny that the plane of artists has something in common with open source. They both invent things out of the blue, and it's hard to protect them. Open source is built on a community of people, but that community volunteers their code, brings the code. And the real thing is this is a bad battle between open source and smaller players like artists battling over the AI space, often overshadowed by big tech in the background. Who's going to win? Because the issue here is called fair use. That's what all the AI leaders will say. Fair use is section 107 of the Copyright Act. It's a statutory framework for determining whether something is fair use and identifies certain types of uses. Criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research as examples of activities they may qualify. This is where the AI industry says that their taking of this copyrighted material is the only way they could build this gift that they're giving this to humanity. And I love what they're giving, but the fact that they took those actions without permission shouldn't be overlooked and it shouldn't leave artists who do this and have created this from their own unique point of view. This stuff is expensive. But the smaller players are the ones who are caught like, oh, wait, we couldn't do this without copyrighted material for free. Um, what? That is just like brazen arrogance. And you see why people are going viral on Eric Schmidt? Because what that says is the underpinning of what's going on here as well. Hey, it doesn't matter if you think different, talk about ethics and bias and pretty language, and you act the same. So how is this going to work out for the artists, for AI, and for you and me? Well, it led to Judge Oreck giving the artist one small legal victory, turned down two parts, one victory, one giant challenge to the AI industry. The artists have only one angle, copyright, to protect them. And the copyright lawsuit was at a point where it could have been dismissed before what's called discovery, where the lawyers sit down and ask questions. This is where they discover what each side has, what's going to be brought into the case and, and argued, whether it's legal or not, and to bring it to the decision or a settlement. So if it doesn't go to discovery, the AI companies don't have to share anything that's going on. And Judge Oreck said, yeah, it does. He said two parts of it. One was the allegations of induced infringement are sufficient, moving the case forward to discovery. Now the lawyers for the artists can peer inside and examine documents from the AI image generator companies, Stable Diffusion, Midjourney, DeviantArt, revealing more details about their training data sets, their tech, and how we got here in the first place, something private companies don't have to share unless they do something illegal, like maybe violating copyright law? We'll see. Judge Oreck says, this is a case where the plaintiffs allege that stable diffusion is built to a significant extent on copyrighted works and that the way the product operates necessarily invokes copies or protected elements of those works. Now, this is not a legal decision. The case has got a ways to go, but it just means it can move forward and have enough merit to warrant that deeper discovery. That's what makes this a huge victory. Now they're going to have to open those black boxes of AI, not only telling us how it worked, but telling the decisions that went through to grabbing those materials. And remember, the Stability Diffusion CEO said, we took them, now we can recreate them and do iterations. I don't know if that's going to have an impact on the case, but law is built on intent. Why you did something and open AI, remember, says that it can't create this without copyrighted material and it's not going to pay for it, the intent is actually pretty clear. And maybe that's why Eric Schmidt's getting more hits than he deserves. As Judge Oreck says, whether true and whether the result of a glitch, which is what stability contends, or by design, which is what the artists contend, will be tested at a later date. The allegations of induced infringement are sufficient. And I can tell you this little victory, remember, this is a big underdog. How are they going to win against these big tech companies whose business model is steal, 
and sue or at least have lawyers to defend yourself and ask forgiveness later. So even though this is a small victory, this is a crack in the wall of big tech. Dominance and could lead to more accountability in the future and more respect for the people who create the content. Try to protect and never gave them permission to use it. And were never asked, never paid, never considered. Even though like Mitch Journey had a list of 4,700 of them. And these artists actually place in what's called metadata, different sort of keywords, different descriptions, copyrights that could have been used in the databases. I'm not sure if we'll find that out, but it would have made it a lot easier for the AI to understand what this image was about, despite just having to read it. So finally, maybe ethics matter. Will AI do the right thing? I bet if we ask ChatGPT about this situation, after giving me a lecture on ethics, it would side with the artists, encouraging the AI industry to embrace what it preaches. In fact, we should thank Eric Schmidt for this transparent wake-up call. He thought it was in private. This is the way they talk in private, prioritizing speed and profit over ethics and fair competition. And we hope this decision doesn't impact the open source community. But as AI continues to evolve, will the small victories of today lead to a more balanced and fair tech industry tomorrow? Well, stay in touch, listen, and support these artists. Go out there. Go on social media, start backing up these artists who are putting their time and probably money into this effort because these small victories can lead to significant change. There could be an uprising going on or maybe I'm just crazy and AI is in control and we should just let them attack, steal and sue and just accept that as reality. This lawsuit is a watershed moment. Reach out to these artists, let them know you care and even more, let the AI companies know that you should reach in your pocket when you get billions of dollars of funding and find a way to pay for the content that determines what your output is. Because that, theoretically, is a violation of copyright law, but honestly, it's not ethical.